Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Astro Colony. It is a sandbox uh, automation game, effectively. I, sorry, I immediately see enabled bots. Wait, are bots like, oh boy, what, what does the booster do? I, I don't know. I'm going to enable the booster and we'll just see what happens. And can I type anything for the seed? Sweet eggplant. Perfect. Well, it didn't kick me out of that. Well, welcome to eggplant colony. What are we going to do? I have no idea. Well, oh, well, there goes my ship. Welcome. I am a bot. I've been programmed to guide you on your learning. Uh, let's see. Can I? Okay, maybe, maybe the actual. Wait. I'm gonna go back. I wonder if enable bot. I got it. It's the tutorial. Here's the thing. Tutorials make me grumpy. Okay, cool. Nope. I guess it's still on anyway, so we want to extract some ore. Well, I guess I probably should have actually paid some attention to that tutorial because, let's see, floor silver. Hmm. Haha. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anyway, I think if we want to extract anything. There we go. Okay. I'm just gonna fly around smacking balls in space. I wonder if this does any damage to my ship when it... I don't see any damage. Yeah, collect some basic resources. How do I... I don't have the booster. I don't know how to go up and down. But maybe it doesn't matter that much. We'll figure it out. Oh, we got some iron ore out of that. Basic science. So I know how to go up, I just don't know how to go down. I guess I can just fall. If I need to go down, I will just fall uh, as much as I need. Actually, are all of these just kind of flying towards my base to, like, ram into it? Okay. Turn, uh, let's see, open your inventory with this. All right. Let's see, recyclables? Oh, handcrafting. Recycle construction resources, wait. You'll see that items are automatically crafted. Use for that. And enable handcrafting recipes. Merge items. Probably this? Here we go. Okay. So now we just automatically create iron bars by hand, copper bars by hand. Okay, that's really neat actually. So I don't actually have to automatically like Go ahead and do that. Uh, I, I don't have to manually select those. So deal with the need of breathing, oxygen levels drop, check the oxygen meter in the corner, cool. When it reaches zero, your body will get injured, and death, use ice inside the oxygen generator is the quickest way to refill it. Okay, so we gotta get basic science. T for text screen. Oxygen. And then, do I have... How much science do I have? I still have five. Handcrafting wire? Oh, let's do water. All right. So build an icebreaker. Uh, oh, I see. Oh, we have different tabs of these. That's sure. I'm just going to slam this in the corner for the time being. Get it slightly out of the way. Uh, looks like I might need some power. Store water and water cells and remember to connect them with water pipes. Uh, let's see. Six one of these so got it so then all we need is a pipe we also have the oxygen generator but I can't do anything with that because I we don't but what is the difference this is the oxygen generator this is the ice breaker oh so this sucker outputs so we'd actually want this guy to be like kind of here ish I wonder if I can do something like this. I guess I don't have enough bars anyway. How do I... How do I... How do I not be in build mode? Ah, there we go. So we can switch between the state of our hands. So I gotta go collect some water. Wait, do I have, like, triple jump? <laughs> oh, I see. It's just the jetpack going. Of course. But this carbon ore... This might not actually have ice in it. Nope, it does have some ice cubes. And some basic science. I like that. So Planet Crafter in space, I think it's a lot closer to, um... I think it's a lot closer to Factorio. 
or uh oddly enough it's like it might not even be factorio uh, let's see oh we can even see what's in this one perfect um you ever played stone block or uh stone block or sky block or something like that it's kind of like sky block but with more automation but effectively, it's a branch of Factorio style automation. Okay. Let's go back to this. How do we modify? All right, consumption, ice. Put this in. But we're going to need to figure out electricity and water transportation. Oh, but we're not done on that one. So let's uh let's go smack another asteroid until I can get it. Because we want as many ice cubes as we can. I like that science system that it's based on me doing things. Okay, I gotta check the controls real quick. Uh, let's see, fly down is left alt. Okay, yeah, I can, I can see it. All right, so if I do seven, we need water pipes, can't do it. Okay, so let's go back to handcrafting recipes. Do we want to make any wires? The only immediate problem is if I do this too much, then I'm not going to be able to make anything. Maybe it's fine. Okay. So we've got that. Oh, but we wouldn't. We need to look into a carbon reactor. Yeah. So immediate problem with any of this is uh, making these wires means I don't actually. Let's see. Where's the. It's a nice iron looking asteroid. That's carbon. Should probably actually turn the uh turn the jetpack on instead of just flying around. Alright, cool. Let's just uh let's just smack this out. I like the music, it's very chipper. Like it feels like I'm doing fun science. Which uh, more or less is exactly what this game kind of is. Uh, let's see, that's more ice. How much oxygen do I have? It looks like I'm fine. Eventually, I'll be able to auto harvest this. I'm pretty sure. Let's let's see. So I've got three. I could probably use a little bit more iron. One of you has iron in you. Looks like you do. We don't actually have the booster technology. Oh, this one's only got two though. Well, once we get to automation, hopefully we get like space lasers or something that just lets me shoot these. You look like you have a little bit more iron. Yeah, I'm just going to try and gather some resources so I don't have to keep coming back out here every time. We might want some more copper, too, in retrospect, because I bet we don't have any. How would auto-harvesting work in this? Drones that fly around? Yeah, either drones that fly around or, like, uh, laser turrets mounted on the sides that just shoot nearby asteroids and gather resources. I'm not entirely sure. Could be grapple launchers. Like, there's multiple different ways that I could see it working, and all of them would be thematically appropriate and kind of cool. Because, yeah, like, big grapple tethers that just pull in the asteroids and then chuck them into a grinder, and the grinder, you know, rips them apart for resources. Can I stand in the way of this thing? <laughs> like, punch it. It pushes me around. Sure, why not? Yeah, go the raft way in big nets. You know, normally that would be kind of weird, but for this game, sure, why not? All right. So now that I can, now I can do this. Uh oh no. What does this do? I can rotate it. That's hand. Hmm. K is construction. I gotta figure this out. How do I pick something back up again? Turbo can't do. Break, no. Select, construct, extract, remove selected, delete. Remove. Might be control and right mouse button. No, that's probably... That's probably not. See, user interface, categories. 
Can't remove object. Missing deconstruction technology. Oh. So here's the problem. Uh, let's see. The, uh, the power cable there is out of my range. So we do have asteroid catching. There's your answer. Well, let's grab deconstruction. Destroy unwanted devices, collect recyclables that can be processed. Ooh. Ooh, that's... I guess I'm going to deconstruct all of those. Hopefully I get the resources back at some point. This is what I get for trying to put things uh, in tidy corners. Because now I'm out of <laughs> resources. Oh boy. Alright, whatever. There we go. Alright, let's go back to this. Let's just mine things. Now, now we've actually got a bit of a time crunch here as I have uh, burnt... A lot of my resources on that failed venture. I should have been paying attention to the inputs to outputs. There we go. I think we'll still be fine, but uh, we're definitely going to be lower on resources than I thought. I do appreciate that recycling isn't just kind of one for one, and there's a recycling machine that we get to use. It's a little bit more involved, but it makes it more interesting. Two streams between sleeps for me. Me too. I don't... I don't normally go out of my way to do back-to-back -back streaming, but I, I've i got a vacation. Two vacations coming up in July that I'm trying to have, like, just a nice beefy backlog for. Because um, moving across the country kind of wrecked my ability to do half of the things. Or, not half the things. It wrecked my... Uh, take a look at this. Uh... If I do something like this, that should work, at least for now. All right, what are you saying? Requires ice, many asteroids, rounds, cool. Uh, and moving across the country more or less took up uh, all of my spare footage that I had saved, and now I'm kind of uh, making do with whatever I've got left, and I'm trying to rebuild that before I go back on vacation again. There we go. Is that all I could make? Oof. Because I don't think this is enough. Alright, some more copper, I guess. There we go. Fine. I like it how one of the objectives for oxygen is oxygen death. I think it's actually kind of an anti... Uh... Oh, this is a good one. It's like an anti-objective. You know, you don't want to do oxygen death. But yeah, I love what I do. It's really fun. The big issue is always going to be, uh, holy smokes, going away for a little while is punishing. I'm seeing some sulf sulfur ore that I want to snag if I can before it goes away. I don't... Oh, no, it's gold ore. It might, it might break apart before I get everything. Ah fine. Okay. So now I should be able to make some copper wire. Not too much, but still. Especially near the face of the content. Yup. Yeah, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be bad if it worked for a company like, uh, I don't know, Giant Bomb or Rooster Teeth or something like that. But, I don't. Alright, set that up. Woo, gravity is low. Alright. So now we should have a functional setup. Uh, let's see, how do I... How do I stop building? I guess just pressing Q, kind of. Alright, crap. No, we don't want to do crafting. We want to throw carbon in this thing. Alright, it's now producing electricity. Oh, did my... Okay, I got all the ice back. Let's see. Control right click, put a water thing in there, just so we have some storage. Okay, are you working? Looks like it is, yes! Okay, so we now have water being put in there from this, which gets pumped into this, kind of. Use ice to refill oxygen. Oxygen, oxygenator...
Okay. So it's stored 20. No recipe. Water to create an oxygen tank. Oh, but it's locked. So maybe we don't have the tech for it. Uh, asteroid catching boosting. Oxygen barrier. I. Barrier automatically refills oxygen level. Make sure that newly built oxygen barriers cover the maximum area of the space station. Interesting. Okay, that's not exactly what I was expecting I'd be able to build, but sure. So if I just put this here... Oh, but I need two gold bars, which... I think I need the tech for. Oh, and I'm gonna need smelting. Well, we figured out how to make water. But the big question is, how do I actually breathe it? Uh, okay. Let's just smack one of these and see if I can use the oxygenator. Because, yeah, construct oxygen reactor, extract ice. Okay. Open the device with E, refill the oxygen. Okay. So I just go up to this thing. So I was jumping the gun a little bit by trying to automate it. That makes sense. Hopefully it gives you more space to work out with. Oh, absolutely. I think eventually we even get to move the platform. Like this, this very much, you know, now that people have brought up the raft comparison, I think it's actually pretty apt. Um, Because as far as I know specifically, this ship moves. I, I've seen it with, uh, I know there's Z levels. But I'm pretty sure, gosh, this robot, this tutorial robot is... <laughs> it's a little stalkerish. Electricity, okay. They cannot produce or consume. Cool. Build a carbon reactor. I did. I, I did. Can I just interact with my carbon reactor? I can. Oh, speaking of, we are actually going to need some more carbon here. You got any? No, you got iron. Looks like you got carbon. But yeah, it looks like we should be able to craft a much larger ship with Z levels and everything. I think we get to move. So my assumption is eventually we're moving and grabbing all these asteroids as we go by. Normally they just kind of fly around on their own. Okay. And yeah, we definitely, we definitely want to get auto harvesting. Because this takes me some time. I wonder if I still get science for auto-harvesting. I'd hope so, but I'm not betting on it. Okay. Uh, let's just land for a second, see what I can do. Because we've got some science. We've got smelting. Let's do asteroid catching and smelting. Uh, let's see. Handcrafting plate. Yeah, we're probably going to need that. Booster. No. Logistics. Sure. How much science am I sitting on? Four left. Uh, let's see. So I'll probably ignore the rest of these. Okay. Build a smelter to automate bar production. Let's see. We want to just do something like this? I think so. Here, let's put it at the edge. Because I'm probably going to put some asteroid catchers here. Whoa. That's a chunky sucker. Can I put it one more? Yes. Okay, so how the heck does this work? Uh, so there's the power cables. Ah, uh, do I have enough copper? Let's just make some wires. I don't have enough copper. There we go. Perfect. It tickled me, uh, your fancy for automation. Oh, absolutely. I... I'm actually really excited to be playing this, and I'm a little worried that I'm going to spend the whole morning playing it instead of, uh, you know, covering other demos. But at the same time, like, I I will go out of my way to play a lot of automation games. This is the first one that has really done something new, in my opinion. Kind of? I mean, there's been a number that have done something new. Uh, Satisfactory, for example, absolutely did something new uh, by bringing everything into the third dimension. Um... 
you know, obviously Factorio was one of the first. Uh, Foundry was neat, but really just felt like more Factorio. Or not more Factorio, more satisfactory. Um, but with a different tech tree and stuff. I'm trying to think of other ones. Cabinet of Industry was neat. Um, but honestly, after playing Satisfactory, the whole top-down aspect of Captain of Industry felt a little weird. Not bad, just, you know. I don't want to say overdone, because that feels dismissive. But once you get into this kind of nitty-gritty thing, Dyson Sphere did some new things. I'll give it credit for that. Okay, so... How come attracted recipe processed? I think we need some carbon though. Yeah, because we have nothing. Not shift click. There we go. Control click just moves it over. Yeah, I'll probably want to build a better power setup. Maybe I can build... Oh, perfect. I can build more of these. Just kind of along this outer edge. Alright, reactor's up and running. Unfortunately, the tutorial is... Uh, the tutorial's running a little late. I've already done half of these things and it's like, build wires now! And it's like, ah, no. Keep track of what I'm doing. But yeah, it's nice to see games try and lean in a different or specific direction in this space. Exactly. You know, it's it's fun to play more automation games, and I like I like having different approaches, but it gets a little stale when it's the exact same thing over and over and over again. Uh, let's see. Forgot the name of the Minecraft clone, which had the interesting take on machine building. Oh, are we talking about the uh the like voxel space one? Yeah. Oh, I forget the name of that. It's not Voxbox. It was... Oh, I do not remember the name. If you check my Indie Game Lightning Around playlist, it's on there somewhere. Um, But yeah, you had to build uh, machines via blueprints. But like on a block-by-block -block basis. And it was... Uh, I don't want to say it was a little hard. Let's see. But it definitely was super complex in the way that it was like almost one for one. Minecraft with the uh, space exploration mod. Whatever it was called. Okay. Nope. Control click. Control click. Moves it over. Perfect. So here's the question. Have you captured an asteroid yet? No. So how do I control this thing? Unless it needs to be turned, but it shouldn't. Okay, well, it wants me to make a recycling machine. Oh, I'm also, like, running out of juice here. There we go. Stop dying. So, yeah, I guess I'm just going to have to follow the tutorials until StalkerBot leaves me alone. We even want a recycling machine. It looks like the recycling machine might not require power, but it does require some iron, which I don't have. Uh, let's see. Turn off auto crafting. Oh shoot, gotta turn the jetpack on. I wonder what happens if I fall forever. I probably just die and I lose some resources. Watching your Sky Factory for videos on YouTube. Well, this is going to <laughs> this is gonna look like a really advanced version of that. Kind of. I really enjoyed Sky Factory. I'd like to do it again. Sky Factory and Stone Blocker are a ton of fun. I just add in a time. Once I'm done with vacations and moving and all this other stuff, then I'll actually hopefully have some time to start sinking my teeth deeper into games like this, where I can really, really go hard on like crazy automation factories and who knows what else I do. Okay, so we want to do a recycling machine. This one kind of can go wherever. So I'm just going to slap it right next to that. Okay. And did I have some recyclable bits? 
Wait, this is a storage container. That's not a recycler. Uh, what is, what's the button for building? Is it K? K. Wall device. That's a storage container. Where's the recycling machine? Recycling machine. Oh, requires gold bars. Oh. Well, that would explain some things. Okay, so I'll have to find some more gold here. Yeah, fine. But boy, recycle bot is kind of pointless at the moment. And are these? It is still just burning power, even though I'm not doing anything with any of it. Well, that's fun. All right, so we gotta find another gold rock in here somewhere. We could just randomly be in one of these. But unfortunately, I think it's gonna be kind of rare. Whoa, there's a big thing up there. Yes, yeah, so we definitely get to explore. I don't think I wanna go that far though. Okay, let's skip the uh, the recycling machine for a second. And let's just go back. Let's go inventory. I'm going to turn off auto crafting. I'm just going to skip the recycling machine tutorial for a while. And we'll... Uh, I'm going to try and get the, the asteroid collector first. Because it seems like if I can get that maxed or maxed out or actually functional... That'll save me an inordinate amount of time. Luckily, resources are infinite, so I don't have to worry too much. Uh, let's see. I also hope I can get some solar panels, too. There we go. What's this game about? Automation in space. It's like Raft plus Satisfactory plus Skyblock. Uh, that should be enough. Go back to this. Control. Whoop, that's ice. We don't want to do that. There we go. That should be a couple more blocks. Okay, so if I go back to technology, how does this work? To manually catch asteroids and process them. Oh. Oh, that just turns it on and off. And that's actually vaguely useful. I'm just going to turn this thing off for a while. We're not producing much for ice anyway. Actually, same thing with this thing. Because I wonder I wonder if this will burn less. Yes, it does. It actually burns less coal if I'm not... Uh, if my draw is low. Okay, so how do I manually catch an asteroid then? Okay. Manual Asteroid Catcher allows you to shoot in first-person nearby asteroids and process them to obtain resources. Unlock uses auto-asteroid catching technology to automate this device. Okay. Nope. You know, it amuses me to no end that the, uh, the tutorial bot is very insistent on... Oh, F to catch asteroids. Oh. Alright. Asteroid will be processed only when electricity is provided. It should be. Yeah, okay, cool. So I can just tell that thing to grab whatever. We might actually want to build a couple of them. Though power is going to be a bit of an issue. We'll see how it goes. But yeah, so we've got we've got a tractor beam grappling thing. And go from there. Hey! Uh, thank you a couple of people. So I think Ice Bear I thanked you, but thank you anyway for the Prime Sub. Thank you, Zen Infinity. For the 15-month uh, resub, and thank you, Monmaker, for the 45-month resub. Sorry, but this is way beyond heckin' early. I'm sorry. I had to, um... I'm going out today, and so I, I kind of have to uh, get started. Okay, so let's leaf out of this. Is there... Where is automated catching? But we need all of these things. 
Uh, we don't have quite enough science. Actually, it looks like we might need a laboratory. Yes, because we need whatever that is. Okay. So there's the recycler, but we still don't have the gold thing. Okay. Grab engines. Engines lets us move. Okay. Uh, yeah. Can I... Can I go into the settings? Can I... Can I kill the robot? I thought I turned it off, but I guess it just didn't feel like it. Hmm. Yeah, no. Looks like the robot. I'm just stuck with it for the time being. Okay. Let's see. Extract a bunch of carbon? Sure. And one of the... I mean, we have a lot of things that I can potentially do here uh, to make this work. Let's start with this. So we have a hydrogen generator to produce hydrogen and hydrotonic. Laboratory, but I need a ton of wires. Recycling machine, but I can't do it. Ores into bars. Oh, oxygen barrier. Okay, and construct some oxygen tanks. Oh, I guess we don't have that. If we have water tanks. There are solar panels that I can get, but we don't have the resources for that yet. Let's see, hangar, kitchen, base warehouse. I'm not seeing an oxygen tank, so it'll probably show up at some point. And we do have conveyor belts, but we don't have them yet, because I think I need some other stuff. Okay. Uh, I don't know. The main problem is I, I have to keep an eye out for gold rocks. Here, I'm going to go back to this thing. Yeah. Oxygen generator active with oxygen tanks to be filled. Unless, of course... Let me double check. No, that's a water cell, which is different from an oxygen tank. Decorations, hatches, doors, reflectors, lights. Yeah, I know where they are. It's fine. Hi. Let's see. Can I just catch more asteroids? Let's see. That's got some copper in it. That's got a bunch. Let me think. I don't know. I guess I'm just going to remain slightly lost here. Turn this back on. I don't have any more oxygen. Well, it's fine. Okay. So big, big problem here is I need to make a lab. The tutorial bot is on a bender. So what do we need for a lab? That's a hydrogen generator. We need this but I'm going to need some wires. Uh, let's see, and I think I've already snagged everything that I can from this. Oh, okay, that's a lot of copper wire. I also have some recyclables just sitting around. Interesting. Okay, well, lab's going to take a while. Let's just, uh... Keep grabbing everything we can out of this. Switch away from this tool. Let's see. What can we grab? So I'm looking for anything that might have gold in it. But anything that has a lot of resources works just about as well. Oh, oh interesting. So I actually did research... Uh, I did research... Sci uh, not science there. Nope, that's not gold. Got that. Um, but we, we can queue up research, and it will just take all of our points and point them towards it. Oh, no, that's a planet. I was like, there's a gold rock. And the answer is, that's not a gold rock. Here it is. Here's some gold. Uh, let's see. Also, thank you, Tachinori, for the Prime sub. Been watching you on YouTube for a long time, and I love it. Woke up this morning and thought about giving you a sub. Well, welcome on in, and thank you. 
Uh, we're playing random demos, starting with Astro Colony, which is holy shit good. All right, yeah, let's just toss all of these in. Let that smelt for me. I might actually be able to make the lab now. And also, thank you, Cryoris, for gifting a sub to Green Sky. And Flare? Looks like it. Perfect. Thank you. So, Thrusters, Smelters, Laboratory. Oh boy, this is a big sucker. Um, I'm just going to have to have, like, cable hell, aren't I? I wish I could actually flip one of these. Okay, let's give myself some space to get in here. I'm not even going to think about organization. I'm just going to make everything work. And then at some point, once the ship is underway, then I tear everything to bits, recycle with a lot of it, and actually have it look good. Can you modify the platform itself? Yes, just not at the moment. Okay, so we need to generate uh, engineering science, which just requires iron bar and copper bars. Fair enough. Yeah, let's, let's get to that, because if I can get the asteroid thing on auto, that's going to make everything much easier. Let's see. That's got a bit of both. Okay. And iron bars. Oh. We have far fewer iron bars than we thought we did. But that's okay. Toss all that in. Got the iron. Or used it on something else. Okay. So, asteroid catching, yes. But what about automated catching? Auto asteroid catcher. Looks like it takes a little bit more effort, but is going to save me so much time. I wonder if I can specifically tell it to catch different types. Uh, let's see. Let's go for something a bit bigger. Come on. Can I have anything bigger than, bigger than that? I guess not. Okay, and how am I doing on oxygen? I could do a little bit more. Oh, wait. Oh, that's interesting. F just lets me use ice to refill. Wait, can I do that when it's off? Yeah, so for some of these, F actually just lets you bypass using the UI. I like that. Why did I have to rotate this thing wrong? I'll move it later. Honestly, I'll probably just do it again with the auto a asteroid catchers and do it right. Here, let's just hop out and actually smack some things ourselves. Ooh, I see gold. I should go snag that as soon as I'm done with this one. There it is. Actually, I'm seeing a couple of gold rocks. I wonder if it uh, spawns new asteroid types based on how far along I am. I bet that's exactly it. I think that's the case. Okay, give me that gold ore. Because we need that if I want to make that recycler, which I should be able to make now. And there's like one other thing that required the gold ore that is escaping my mind at the moment, but I'm sure I'll need it. There we go. Hopefully I can also increase the power of my mining tool. Because boy, I am uh, not so good at that. Uh, let's see, just grab a bunch of ice. Yeah, if it's got 10 resources on it, I'll do it. Okay, grab the rest of these. Because yeah, this base will absolutely be able to just automate itself. Oh, that's nice. The smelter smelts all types of resources. It looks like I can turn it off. So you can only do one. It can also make iron rods at some point. Uh, but I don't have to worry about it taking too long. It's actually really nice. All right, let's see what uh, let's see what science we can get. Toss it all in. Perfect. Okay, so that'll give it, get us all of our engineering points. Let's go back to this, grab another one. Eh, you're just a bunch of carbon, though. There's some iron. Okay, let's just uh, manually smack some th smack some things. 
Because I'm going to need a lot of iron here. Plus, this still gets me the base science. Hey, thank you, Midwestern Nekosan, for the 42 month resub. Ah, I didn't quite get it. Or maybe I did. Last second? Might have been. Alright. Can I get it? Music almost becomes stressful when you're trying to grab the asteroid before it crashes. Uh, just grab a bunch of ice? Sure. Okay. Go back into you. We do have the carbon ore, but that's not going to help me for anything. Amusingly enough, even though this thing is off, I can still press F on it. Uh, let's see. Here, let's grab that, because I should have enough resources now that we can go to aut automated asteroid catching. Oh, wait, no, no, no. We need construction first. What am I lacking? More engineering points. Nuts. Oh, interesting. You can actually queue up asteroids. I... Okay, I actually really appreciate that. That's really helpful. Uh, let's see. Alright. Well... Well, that goes. Electric thruster, docking... Docking station. Connect space colony and planets together. Huh. It's required for astronauts' arrival. Okay. Well, let's make the recycling machine. If I can. It's kind of a big chunker. It's kind of a big chunker. Okay. I'm just going to put it here for the time being. Eventually, a lot of this stuff I'm probably going to put vertically instead once we get the ability to, to do that kind of thing. But still. Okay. Recycle all of these. Give me my resources back. Hell yeah. Astronauts? Did I just hear minion bots? Possibly. Alright, so we're done recycling, so stalker bots done. Uh, oh. Only if you store oxygen tanks in the oxygen generator. So, oxygen tanks. Takes water. Okay, cool. So I can turn this back on. And I can turn this back on. That's going to increase our drain a little bit. Stalker bot. Freaking me out a little bit. And it's physically in my way. Water 20 seconds. So why isn't it doing it? Unless we don't have enough water. We should. Okay. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. And it's not processing this guy. Or are we... I bet we're just out of power. Yep, that's the answer. Okay, well in that case, I might need some more carbon. That's got a bit of both. Eventually I'll be able to automate all of this. And then I won't have to worry too much about resources one way or another. Uh, let's see. But for the time being, it's still going to be kind of slow. Let's go get some more. Need to shackle Palpatine to the station. Well, at some point we get solar panels. So... That's about as close as I'm going to be able to get. Grab those. On to the next one. No, it's already got that. I wonder if you can catch multiple asteroids. You can. Or, no, you can't. That one's just leaving. Well, shoot. This apparently takes a while. Okay. He's yelling at me if I store oxygen tanks. Oh, no recipe. There it goes. Now it's going. I don't think I'm going to bother with the barrier. Maybe I will.
Let's see, because it's probably still better than me actively doing it myself. Give me that iron. Eh, didn't quite get it. It's fine. Alright, how are you going? Very slowly. Is the answer. Oh, wait, no. We can grab another. Uh, that's iron and water? Sure, why not? I'll just go. I'll want to get another one of those, but this is going to take a while otherwise. And no, we don't we don't actually have that iron yet. Uh, fine. That's a bunch of carbon. I'll go for the gold first because it's, it's rare. And then we're going to go hit some iron rocks. I... I can't stop playing this. This is really good. I'm actually really curious how far the demo goes. I I almost feel like automation sandbox games are one of the few true games where you can just have like a really beefy demo and get away with it because m almost any automation sandbox fan is such a massive massive addict for the uh for the genre and everything in it that it's almost impossible not to just like get hooked and not get bored. Punch rocks, get science. Why on earth does this adorable version of Space Engineer exist? I don't know, but it's great. 